To see an unidentified object for yourself, you don't have to travel too far from Columbus, just a few hours south on the Gulf of Mexico. People have been seeing strange things in the skies with alarming regularity. For many years, Pensacola and neighboring Gulf Breeze, Florida, have been a favorite place for vacationers and honeymooners attracted to its sugar white sand, shopping, and seafood restaurants. But lately, Gulf Breeze has become a mecca for anyone curious about UFOs, because sightings there have become almost commonplace. It began in November of 1987, when Ed Walters says he saw a strange craft floating over his neighborhood. He grabbed a camera and snapped a series of photos. He says at first he thought the thing was from the nearby Naval Air Station in Pensacola, but as it got closer, he says, it became clear that it was like nothing he had ever seen. Blow-ups of the photo show a top-shaped object with a bright light or exhaust at its bottom. Since that time, hundreds of area residents have made sky watching their favorite pastime. Such a concentrated effort by so many people has resulted in a great deal of unusual footage. One of the strangest sightings was this one over the water off Gulf Breeze. It first appears as a single bright white light. But after a short time, a piece of it breaks away, turns a pinkish hue, and dances around the original object. Another very peculiar and seemingly hard to explain sighting was made in March of this year by Mike Hawkins of Gulf Breeze. It appears to be a glowing orange disc which floats silently behind some pine trees, again over Pensacola Bay. Here's another video taken by another Gulf Breeze resident that appears to be a lighted set of windows in some sort of craft. The Secretary of the Navy says it has no connection with the sightings and cannot even offer any ideas of what they could be. One Florida congressman was initially interested, then backed off. And Friedman, considered by many in the UFO field to be one of its foremost authorities, gives this assessment. It's clear that there are a lot of sightings going on here, and I'm sure some of them at least are not ours. And remember, the, the key question here is and everywhere else about flying saucers is not, are all UFOs alien spacecraft? The question is, are any? I think alien spacecraft have visited the area. How many of what are being seen now are alien spacecraft? I don't know. We might expect the government to react in strange ways to all the publicity, so who knows? As for the remarkable photos taken by Ed Walters of the craft seen by he and his wife, optical analyst Bruce McAbee, who has done work on the secret government strategic defense initiative, also known as Star Wars, says his expert interpretation of the image is that it very well could be real. In addition, three witnesses, a Pensacola coroner named Senator McConnell, and two chemists at the Monsanto Corporation named Arthur Herford and Ray Pollock, all claim to have seen the same object in the skies over Gulf Breeze, Florida. Tomorrow night, we'll introduce you to a person with perhaps the most remarkable story you've ever heard about UFOs. He's a young scientist who says he actually went aboard a flying disc of alien origin at a secret U.S. Air Force base in the New Mexico desert.